Come with me on a little shopping trip to Marks and Spencers with a try on of the things that I bought at home. Something that I noticed that there was a lot of was sequins. Sequin skirts, sequin tops, I mean, you name it, there were sequins everywhere. I guess they're getting ready for the party season, which is fast approaching. I'm a sucker for sequins. I'm drawn to them like a magpie. And I thought this sequin blazer was gorgeous, but that's for another time. The first thing I noticed though, was this outfit. I'm not overly keen on how this is styled, but I saw that this was actually a dress and hanging up on its own, it really did look lovely. It does look like black and white spot, but it's actually brown and cream spots. It's very comfortable. The fabric's got some weight to it and it's got lots of movement too. It does up with a side zip and it's also got a button at the back of the neck. And the thing about this dress, it could be worn very easily with different types of shoes. I've started off with heels, but I have also tried it with trainers. The dress actually comes in three different lengths. I'm wearing the regular length, which on me is better if I was gonna wear heels. But I think the shorter length would be better for trainers on me. The dress suits a pair of boots really well. Now these ones I'm wearing are actually ankle boots, but you can't actually tell because of the length of the dress. And they're black. I'd actually rather wear brown, but I don't have any. But they give a really good idea of how boots could look with the dress. Now to the dress, I've added this brown biker jacket. It's faux leather. It costs £49.50. It's very, very soft. And it goes extremely well with the dress. You can wear it zipped up, but I very rarely wear jackets like that. Left open with this dress anyway, I think it looks best. Because it's cropped, but not too cropped, it suits the length of the dress. And overall, I just think it makes a very nice autumn outfit. In a recent video, I talked about the color combination of brown and navy. So I also tried the jacket with navy underneath. The trousers I'm wearing are from Lily Silk and the sweater is old, it's from Zara but there's plenty of ways to wear a brown jacket. It's another way that the brown biker jacket could be worn with the things that I have, so I could get lots of wear from it. Now, another color that goes with navy incredibly well is pink, all kinds of pink. Salmon pink, pastel pink, bright fuchsia pink, and there was so much pink in store. That's probably due to the Barbie movie. Now, I fell in love with this pink cashmere sweater, which I've put together with navy trousers. It's quite a striking colour combination, that's for sure, and it's very eye-catching. Now, the sweater is £85 from the Autograph range, and as I mentioned, it's cashmere and it's beautifully soft, and it's in a very classic crew neck shape, so very versatile, and it does come in a whole range of colours if pink isn't your thing. I went a little bit pink crazy, and I'm not usually a pink kind of girl, but I also picked up a pink cardigan, which I've put together with the navy trousers again. I've worn it partly buttoned with a couple of buttons at the top undone as well as at the bottom, which is quite a nice way to wear a cardigan. This is part of their basics range and it's not cashmere, but it's still very soft and color wise, it matches the sweater almost perfectly. I saw this pink outfit in store on the mannequin, styled with a pink hat and a sweater styled across the body. And this was paired with wide leg jeans, which is actually what I went in there for. So I did get myself some wide leg jeans. I'm sure you've noticed that wide leg jeans are everywhere and I was a bit curious to give them a go. Now these ones I'm wearing were 35 pounds and I got them in a size 10 in the color Indigo Mix. Trying a new shape or a style of jean always looks a little bit strange, doesn't it, after you've been used to a certain cut for quite a while. So I've got to get used to these, but I have to say they are incredibly comfortable. They give lots of support around the tummy area, but then they're quite nice and loose around the legs. So I've tried these with the pink sweater, pink cardigan, and I've also tried them with a navy blazer. But I did want to try them together with a classic white shirt, the one I'm wearing is from Marks and Spencers, but I did get this a little while ago. I love this because it has concealed buttons, so there's no bra or boob exposing. I'm not sure if this is still available, but if it is, I will link it below along with everything that I show you in this video. I've layered the trousers and shirt with the navy blue blazer, so I've mixed classic with more on trend pieces. And I've tried wearing different shoes with the combination. I've tried them with some white Superga trainers, which have definitely seen better days now, but they're so comfortable and worn in, I just can't bear to part with them. I've also tried it with two-tone shoes. These are from Dream Pairs. 
And I've played around with two different bags, a tan one from Teddy Blake and also a black one which is also from Teddy Blake and these are both the Kim bag and both bring something to the outfit. I have also tried the jeans with these chunkier style trainers. Now I actually saw these in store, they're much lighter than they look here, more of a beige colour and they're quite similar to the Vasia trainers. It's quite a different look for me but I wanted to experiment a little bit. Another way I've tried the jeans and trainers is with this cable knit sweater. Now this is absolutely gorgeous and it looks far more expensive than it is. It's just £39.50. It's super comfortable. You can wear it tucked in or left out, you know, however you prefer. And I've got that on with the wide leg jeans and trainers. I've also tried the sweater on with my navy wide leg trousers. This is a really comfortable but casual outfit. I have added the trainers, I don't think it would actually look quite right with another shoe style. Now another way I've tried the jumper is with white jeans. I think cream jeans would actually be better and they did have some in store. Regular straight leg jeans, they were cream so I think the tones would work really nicely together with the sweater and the shoes. I've layered this look with my camel coat and tan bag. Other ways I've tried the shoes are with black jeans the cable knit sweater and a cream aviator jacket. This is really old now, but the sweater layers quite easily underneath it and it doesn't feel too bulky. I have also tried them though with a thinner knit. This one is from Lily Sill and I put it together with a camel coat. And another way is with a houndstooth blazer. Now I saw this look in the store the other day. It's with the trainers, so I really wanted to try it. I have a houndstooth blazer already but the Marks and Spencer one is really quite nice if you do like houndstooth. I'm glad I saw the mannequin because I'd never think to put these together with the trainers but I'm glad I did because I actually quite like it. As I said this jumper is from Lily Silk. They do have a jumper very similar to this in store and that will be linked below for you. These are very handy to have in your wardrobe and make a really nice layering piece. There are lots of great jumpers actually. Too many nice striped jumpers to choose from. These are just a few that I liked. All slightly different styles and cuts, but I thought these were all lovely looking sweaters. I really like this geometric sweater too. And I thought with black trousers, this could look very smart. The cable knit sweater also comes in other colors. I saw it in this chocolate brown and there's a really gorgeous red on the website, which could be a very nice addition to winter wardrobe. When I was looking around, I liked the look of this wrap. I happen to love wraps. I think they dress up an outfit very easily. And then I clocked this pink skirt that had been abandoned next to it. It's such a fabulous colour. I have put it together with the pink jumper. It's very bright, I know, and it's not going to be for everyone. But I thought it looked quite eye-catching. A couple of ways I've tried it is with white basic trainers and a navy cardigan. I do feel very pink ladies from Greece in this. I also tried it with a navy sweater and bag and some toe cap shoes. I've also tried it with a navy blazer and I've also gone all out pink with the pink cardigan. I guess if you're going to make a statement then you may as well just go all in. And one other way I've tried it is with a white shirt. I'm really sorry but this slip is a little bit overexposed but hopefully you can still see it. Now eagle eye viewers you may have spotted that the security tag is still on the skirt. I promise I didn't steal it. I actually had four things with tags still on when I got home. I'm surprised the alarm didn't go off, but actually I wish it had it done, then I could have got the tags removed. As it was, I was able to get a few of the tags off, but this one I just couldn't, so it's back to the store with this one, unfortunately. Navy goes wonderfully well with pink, but there's so many other colours to wear it with. So if you're looking for some inspiration, then this video is the one to watch next. See you there.